The Reds are still pursuing the phenomenal midfielder. Liverpool is in search of an 88 pounds million rated defender, coveted by Eric Ten Hag. Real Madrid will rival Liverpool for the highly rated center back. Hello, fans! Welcome to your news channel for the greatest club in the world. Jurgen Klopp provided a new update on the injury of Liverpool's left back Andy Robertson. Since October, Robertson has been absent, having dislocated his shoulder during an international mission with Scotland. With Costas Tsimikas, also a left back, also injured, the recovery of the 29 year old player has become an even greater concern. However, speaking today in his pre Newcastle press conference, Klopp admitted that Robertson is still not close to a return. Robbo still needs more reach on the shoulder, said the coach. It was a major surgery, he's still not close. He's training individually and can do a lot without using his right arm. Obviously good, but it shows us there's a long way to go. I certainly think he needs to get closer in January. Klopp also provided an update on when Liverpool fans might see Alexis McAllister again. Maka, let's see what he can do today if he can join team training or not, the coach said. The decision is not made yet. Let's see. The news that Robertson is still not ready to return is not entirely unexpected but is somewhat frustrating. The initial expectation was for him to come back at the end of January. However, it's a challenge, especially considering Simikas's absence, who was in excellent form before getting injured. With the additional weight, it's likely necessary to expect another month. Real Madrid is prepared to compete with Liverpool in the race for the esteemed defender Goncalo Inacio, considering a possible transfer of the centre-back in January. With Costa Simicas joining the list of injuries at Anfield Liverpool, facing the absences of Andy Robertson and Joel Matip, contemplates defensive reinforcements in the January transfer window. With both starting left-backs injured, the Reds may seek to strengthen the left side of the defense. There have long been suggestions linking the Premier League leaders to a left-footed centre-back capable of covering the left-back position, and Goncalo Inacio has been frequently praised in this context. The 22-year-old player has stood out at Sporting and accumulated five caps for Portugal, being observed by Liverpool on several recent occasions. However, the defender, who has a £52 million release clause in his contract, is also associated with a potential move to Arsenal, Liverpool's title rival, this winter, as his departure from Sporting seems increasingly inevitable. In addition to Arsenal's interest, Real Madrid has identified Goncalo Inazio as a potential target due to current injury issues, especially after setbacks with Eder Militao and, more recently, David Alaba. Marca suggests that Carlo Ancelotti could consider signing the centre-back to strengthen the squad this winter. The La Liga giant is likely to face intense competition with Liverpool and Arsenal, forming a tug-of-war for Inazio's signature. If Klopp and his recruitment team are interested in Inazio, they will likely have to act quickly to secure his services. According to the report, Liverpool is among the clubs interested in signing the promising Benfica talent, Antonio Silva. At 20 years old, Silva has been a regular starter in the current season and has received praise as an absurd talent from former Manchester City coach Juan Malillo. The young central defender from Benfica, Antonio Silva, is highly valued. Do you know how good this kid is? Incredible! He's absurd, said Lillo about Silva. However, the potential acquisition by Liverpool won't be easy. Reports indicate that Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag is eager to have Silva at Old Trafford in the summer. According to 90 Minutes, Silva has an £88 million release clause in his contract. The report also mentions that Benfica coach Roger Schmidt stated that there is no possibility of selling the player in January. Portugal seems to continue producing top-notch defenders, following in the footsteps of players like Ricardo Carvalho in the past, and more recently, Ruben Dias and João Cancelo, who have excelled in England. Now, the duo of Inácio and Silva seems to be the next to shine in the Premier League coming from Portugal. Despite the high cost of £88 million, Silva's acquisition reflects the current reality of football, where the best young players have high values. Liverpool or United may need to invest significantly to make this signing happen. According to information from journalist Rudy Galetti, there are indications that Liverpool continues to pursue Manu Cohn. In the latest update, Galetti shared details about the French player's situation, revealing that Liverpool has not given up on the idea of having him in their squad. However, the English club is not alone in this pursuit, as PSG has also included Manu Kohn in their list of desired midfielders, intensifying the competition. 
Manu Kony, whose contract with Gladbach is set to expire in 2026, attracts interest from both Liverpool and Tottenham. The journalist highlights that Liverpool seems to be rekindling interest in Kohn, praising his attributes as a tall, physical, and versatile midfielder, capable of playing various roles on the field. Although not considered a complete defensive midfielder, Kohn aligns with the type of player who could fit perfectly into Liverpool's style of play. The analysis suggests that if Liverpool is still eyeing Cone, a potential transfer is more likely in the next transfer window, indicating that the team might be considering the player as an option for the upcoming summer. This also raises the possibility that the Reds are anticipating the need for a substitute for Thiago Alcantara. The fact that Cone remains at Gladbach until now keeps him as a viable option for Liverpool, indicating that the English club may be evaluating their midfield options with an eye on the future. Thanks for staying with me. Until next time.